she's hidden up here somewhere. I, I, I feel it. I feel it on my bones. That scared the shit out of me. Excellent. Good work, everyone. Remember, keep control of the weather or you'll be significantly weaker. My Dragonite has spotted a challenger approaching us from below. This will be a fantastic opportunity to use the new skills in battle. Get ready, everyone. What's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of the pokemon blaze black 2 randomizer master mode previously we uh finally made it just to outside of the uh victory road pokemon center it only took us like two extra episodes to get there um we unfortunately got the as you can see on the wheel there we did get the pranked uh punishment or uh thing on the wheel where we have to do a punishment and it took our kyogre from us um, so I do have a decision to make, and it's not necessarily a decision that I want to make right now. It's actually kind of something I'm playing a little bit with a little bit of fire here, um, with doing this choice, but I think it is the smarter idea. What I plan to do is I'm going to spin the challenge wheel. Um, we currently do have a Devil's Advocate, which means I can pick any challenge on the wheel to do. Um, but I want to see what I pull for a challenge first, initially, what I think would be good. Because the thing is, with Kyogre, I, I do want to bring back the Kyogre. So it would be, oh my god, Devil's Advocate to Candy Jar, Candy Jar, we pick a Jailbreak, Jailbreak, we bring back Kyogre, hooray. Um, cupcakes and pie for everybody but I don't want to feel like I'm forced to use that unless I absolutely feel like I have to use that um, and the reason why I'm saying that is because we still have victory road to get through there's the do there's a double battle up there there's probably a, there's probably a good four more battles at least before we fight our rival so, and the reality of it is, does Kyogre need grinding before he goes into the Elite Four? Not particularly. He's already level 80. So, if it comes down to it and the Elite Four episode is literally the episode where we bring back Kyogre, great. That's splendid. But, I'm just saying that now before we actually do spin the wheel. So, let's go ahead and do that see what we get let's hope that we get something easy obviously a challenge a, a challenge eventually would be great Yeah, we're using our Devil's Advocate on Candy Jar. There is not a chance on this God's Green Earth that we are skipping every trainer, especially when Drayano purposely moved trainers so that they are unavoidable. So, no thanks, you can suck my nuts. Um, and that's exactly right, right there why I gave that preamble before we did. So, no more Devil's Advocate. Let me go ahead and cross that off on my sticky notes. Or my sticky note here. I actually already did that too, so let me cross that out. Because who knows? Maybe we get another one. Maybe we get another one. Um, which would 
which would be huge, by the way. That would be massive. Just kind of want to point that out. Um, because, yeah, I think the Elite Four is going to be a fucking nightmare. With the luck that I've been having these last couple episodes, I think the Elite Four is going to be a fucking nightmare. Alright, so Gengar and Heatmore. This is literally the worst possible lead I could have had. Literally the worst possible lead I could have had. Um, We're going to go into Remedies here. I am going to protect with King Tut because this Gengar literally has the keys to my house. Um, we're not going to deal with that. We're not going to deal with that. I'm not particularly interested in all that. Let's see. Shadow Ball, absolutely. Fire Lash. It's quad resisted, so. It's going to do no damage to me. It does lower my defense, which is. a potential problem for later on in the battle. Now the thing is, is if I predict this Gengar to go for another Shadow Ball, I think we swap into the Stoutland. I think we swap the Stoutland. And that's just, that's just the smart thing to do all around. I mean, Intimidate isn't going to really affect anything on the field right now because both these moms, I believe, are special attackers. I know Gengar is for sure, but I can't remember if Heatmore is. Or, I don't remember if Heatmore could be mixed or not. Goes for Sludge Bomb. I went for Sludge Bomb. And it outsped. It outsped my Rush Ram, too. So, I gotta make sure I'm careful with trying to take this thing out. Um. Well, since it's a double battle, I could just focus down one side entirely and make a 2v1 situation for myself. Tauros. Okay. I mean, I just fusion flare this guy and get him the hell out of here. I think we do the same thing again. Or, well, no, we're gonna heal. I could crunch. I really could crunch. Is that better for me right now? Because I feel like to I feel like a, a Tauros is gonna outspeed. I feel like Tauros is gonna outspeed me. I think it's harder for me to heal right now, especially because I didn't get the chance to intimidate the Tauros either. I think this. I think this is a smarter play. High horsepower, one hundred percent the right call. We ate that up a lot better than I would have expected. We really ate that up a lot better than I expected. Tauros does go down. Um... Grand Bowl. Okay. Intimidate doesn't affect the Reshiram. Does affect Stoutland. I need to heal, though. That's a problem. They have more than a team of six. They have more than a team of six. But I've killed two Mons in that slot where the Gramble's at. And it still says that there's more. So they, this is, this, they have more than a team of six. Please don't kill the dog.
I thought it fucking did. Uh, the problem is, is if we don't kill this Grain Bull, I think he's gonna kill my Stalin. I hate it here. Genuinely, I genuinely hate it here. How? Horrible loss. That was a horrible loss. I mean, I guess it was it wasn't that bad, but out of all the mods on my team that I would have wanted to lose, I think sadly that was the one I would have wanted to lose the most. But that's that Stalin proved its worth way more than it needed to. That's all I'm gonna say about that. It it showed the fuck up. And it showed the fuck out. So I I'm upset that it's gone. Because Intimidate is very, very solid. And it could have done us wonders in the Elite Four, but. It's just the fact that I didn't kill with Flamethrower. And it's it's more so the fact the amount of HP that it lived on. It's more so the fact that it lived on that much HP. Than anything else. Because if I did like half, then it would have been like, oh, okay. I, I misread that situation entirely. But it's the fact that I basically got him on a fucking sliver of health. Durant. Sorry about that. We've literally spent like 10 minutes in this battle. Rock slide. No surprise that Durant outsped me. What are, what are, what are the odds you think I get flinched with Rush Rim? I'm just gonna say right now, I'm not even mad that the Dreadagon killed me with the Fire Punch. It's not the fact that he is carrying Fire Punch that pisses me off. It's the fact that this Duran, which I, I just wanna say, in this recording session, we have been, we've missed so many rock slides, despite it being 90 accuracy. He goes for his first one. First of all, doesn't miss. Gets the flinch on my Reshiram who was going for Dragon Pulse on the Drudagon. 
the Dredagon, who killed my Escavalier, by the way. And I lose my Escavalier. So that Jailbreak I used on that Escavalier, like, two videos ago? Fucking pointless now. And now that's two months I have died just to this fucking unavoidable battle again. It'd be one thing if I was playing this game blind. It, that that would be something that I'm not I wouldn't be as tilted about. But it's the fact that I've played Black 2 and White 2. And I technically did play Volt White 2 years ago. And I've noticed that they decided that they wanted to change where a lot of these trainers were placed. That's the thing that's been pissing me off. Is that you're creating these unavoidable battles. And then you're... It's unavoidable battles and then stupid RNG. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm literally doing a challenge where there is a lot of RNG involvement. Hell, the fact that my Kyogre is not on my team is because I lost it to a fucking wheel spin. Not only one wheel spin, but to two. I lost it because of two wheel spins that did not go my way. In a row. Two wheel spins in a row. So that just tells you right there that luck is... There's a lot of luck aspect in the Master Mode. I know that. But come on. Like... Be for real. Like, there's hard because it's actually hard. And then there's hard because bullshit luck. And that's what a decent amount of, at least this recording session, it seems. Because I think that's, what, the fourth death I've had in this recording session now? Give or take. And I'm also fighting a battle where I have six mons. Actually, not even really. I had five, because the Swallow I'm not really counting, because it's not an actual leveled up mon. So I'm fighting a battle that's a five versus fucking eight. Yeah, that's fair. It's not like a randomizer code like the like the older randomizers of X and Y where it's like if you're fighting two important people in an important battle, they both have teams of six. It's not bad. This is this was purposely coded in to be more than a team of six. And it's the, it's the fact that I'm not out yet. 15 minutes have been dedicated to this one fucking battle. Say, kill Mag Mortar should kill you. So now I'm rocking a team of three, which is just which is just great, by the way. Like, I, there's nothing more that I love, right? Nothing more. Um, I'm I'm salty about both of them dying, of course, but. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, am I really surprised? Absolutely not. I know what I know what game I'm playing, and I know how it works, but it still doesn't make it any less bitter, and it doesn't make it any easier to swallow. Um, the fact that it is one in the morning, and I started, I think, my recording session at eight o'clock. And we are still technically not done because we're not at the 
Pokemon League yet. First of all, you're not numbing shit. I'm already fucking numb. Second of all, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass and take your lunch money. Clink clang. Okay. Luckily, it's something we should kill rather quickly, rather easily. I don't even know. I don't even know what my team of six is gonna be. I'm gonna have to have a really big sit down and think and look at the box. Because I don't want to fly back out. As much as I should probably do that. Get some death fodder. I'm not doing that. It's not. It doesn't make sense for me to do that. It doesn't make sense for me to do that. High horsepower. I mean, I knew you were going to outspeed me. That much was no surprise. About a hundred points of damage, that's fine. This should kill you in one hit. Not really up for debating that. That should kill you in one hit. Right. Galley. Do I stay in or do I go? I know, we, we go Cough Grigus. Because if this thing hits me and makes contact, I get rid of its ability. Plus, I think I'd probably two shot it with Shadow Ball. Or I should be able to two shot it with Shadow Ball. I'm not even gonna Will O Wisp it, it's not. I'm not trying to. Set it up. Hypercutter goes to mummy now. That's great. If you do two shower shadow ball. There's no way this is real life, right? No way. No shot. Not real. Yeah, you were the one who struck numb. Don't talk shit before you fucking fight somebody. Especially when I'm walking around with a legendary dragon Pokemon. Typically doesn't end up well for ya. You know what's kind of ironic about the situation we're currently in? Is that... The three Mons that we had after the massacre that occurred in Reversal Mountain... Are now the same three mods that we have in this recording session that are here after what I'll 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 word it, word it as the bullshit brigade. That's what I'll that's what I'll phrase it as. The unluckiness that I have in my body, apparently. And another fucking unavoidable battle.
Yeah, I can't even picture in my brain who I want to add. I mean, Kyogre's obviously on there. I would love to use Porygon Z just because that's like, that's, that's literally my favorite Pawn. I just don't want to bring it into the Elite Four. I have, I have a hunch that it's just going to get popped. It's just going to get destroyed and I'm going to be sad and then, you know. And it's like, what do, what do I do after that? I just sit there and cry about it. But it's that sixth slot because now we're missing, you know, the Scavalier guy. What do I what do I put there now? And I mean, there's good options in our PC. Like, that that's not even that's not even up for debate. There are good mons in that PC box that we can take with us. Honestly, I just thought about it now. Jirachi would be a hell of a pickup. Psychic and Steel, that would be really good. It does have Serene Grace as well. I just have to change up its moveset a little bit. Actually, now that I think about it, that would be a perfect... That'd be a perfect Mon to replace the Scavalier. 1000%. Also, I need to be careful because I am clearly running low on a uh, PP with my Reshiram. At least for fire moves. So I don't want to run into any sort of uh, problems where I need a fire move because remember from a few episodes ago, we did have to sell everything in our bag. So ethers and ethers, elixirs, lava berries, we don't have any of those anymore. Why do I feel like she's hidden up here somewhere? I I, I feel it. I feel it on my bone. That scared the shit out of me. Excellent. Good work, everyone. Remember, keep control of the weather, or you'll be significantly weaker. My Dragonite has spotted a challenger approaching us from below. This will be a fantastic opportunity to use the new skills in battle. Get ready, everyone. their double battles. No. Nope. Nope. Not interested. We're not doing that right now. Mm -mm. I will fly all the way back here. I will eat the last five minutes of this challenge. I will... I'm, I'm gonna do it. Like, why the hell would I go up there? That's a death sentence. That is a death sentence right now. I'm running low on PP. So if those are double battles, I mean, Kafka Grigus is definitely going to be one that we go with. It's probably going to be Reshiram and Kafka Grigus, right? Who we lead with? I... I Alright, let's look at this. So one of the strategies I was thinking of for the Elite Four was, so in the original black and white games, if you've played them, or if, maybe if you haven't played them, one of the things that you could do was leave the Elite Four after you beat them, but before you go and fight N and gets us in Team Plasma's capsule. You could, that was something that you could do. Um, 
And so because of how the master mode because of how the master mode works, um, you technically get multiple lives and how multiple lives are, it's like game over. So we haven't experienced a game over yet, whether it was an actual like blackout or um, through the wheels, the challenge wheel, or sorry, the punishment wheel, because punishment wheel does have the ability to take away master mode lives from us just as much as it adding master mode lives to us. Um, so for me, the biggest, I guess, thing is, well, actually, no, I don't necessarily have to lead. Well, no, it's probably smarter to lead with Reshiram and Kofagrigus because with Kyogre being back on the team, it would make sense to because he's more likely going to be faster than what we're going to go in against for him to set up the rain on switch in. So that way I always have rain on my side and can just fire away surfs um, at whatever it is we would be fighting. That's, that's the, that's the idea, at least in my brain. So this is what I would imagine the team right here. So, because we are going to do Jailbreak, I'm saying Kyogre's on the team for that. Um, And then we said Jirachi, right? So, a Jolly Serene Grace would be good. Probably would mess with its moveset a little bit. Um, Same thing with you. Your moveset is actually pretty good. I'd probably give you Ice Beam instead. Um of Psybeam, just because if we do add Jirachi, we'd already have the Psychic Tech coverage. Um, I don't see a situation where I would get a, a nasty plot off, but if I do, that would be great. So here's the thing. I think we should use box three as our like team building box. So let's see, let's put Porygon Z over here on top, uh, as well as Jirachi, right? Because we're keeping the Swallow for the sheer um, fact that it has Fly for us. So those are those two Mons right there. Makes sense why we're putting them there. Now, if I were to need another team, what would I want from this box? Um, Mandibuzz is decent. Weak Armor is... Eh. I think from what we have right now... I mean, ho ho is good, right? I know, I know that. Um, I don't know why it has Wave Crash. Actually, no way, I know why it has, uh, Wave Crash. I don't know why it has Mystical Fire. Does Sacred Fire really not exist in this game? I don't know. Either way, um, Wave Crash, the reason why Wave Crash is there is because it punishment probably got overridden with Wave Crash. Um, so that's what it's coded in as. So actually seeing that right now, I probably wouldn't want to do that. Um, Superior would be good for it being fast. And it also having contrary, that could be good. Um, I think if I'm building a second team here, I think Chandelure is a good, good option. And the thing is, we don't have battle items. So really, we're just going to go with what we got here. So Chandelure is nice. I think we go with Lugia because this thing i'm pretty sure i maxed its defenses and it has multi-scale this thing is gonna be fat as fuck and it's gonna be nice so lugia and chandelure both of those are gonna be special attackers as well so a physical attacker would be great and a water type too at that solid rock 
Caracosta, I think, is kind of underrated. Um, so I actually wouldn't be against putting Caracosta on this team because how many times do you get to see me use a Caracosta? I can tell you, not many. So Water and Rock is a good typing. I think Superior as well for a Grass type. Dragon type would be nice. Um, there is a possibility of us going and buying hard skills in uh, Drift Fail. And this thing can learn Draco more than likely because it is a dragon. Um, we are missing a, no, we're not missing a fire type. We have a fire type already. Um, what else would be good? We have a legendary bug dragon with Flygon. We already have a dragon technically. An electric type. There's a couple of them that we have in the Manetric and Minin and Electrode, but I don't really care for Electrode. I, don't, I think it would just kind of be a waste of a slot, if I'm being honest. Manetric could be decent. We could have the ability to Volt Switch. Um, and Manetric, I would say, is probably the strongest Electric type that we have in our PC box currently. So I actually wouldn't be against it. It would be nice if this thing had Intimidate like it does in this game, but because it was PK hexed in, it's it has static. So it's not ideal, but last but not least, what would we benefit from? We have bulky Mars and all that stuff. I feel like Bear Tick might be a sleeper pick down there. Because I think the only physical mon that we have is the Caracosa for that second team. Sandslash might not be bad either. Which, I know, sounds crazy, but... He gets Sand Rush? It's not a bad idea. Blaziken, we already have Fire Type... Fernape as well. You know what? No, let's let's go with let's go with Bear Tick, because I'm just as much. I'm also trying to use stuff that I haven't really used. Oh, but wait, Toxicroak. I haven't really used a Toxicroak before. That might be fun. That might be fun. I mean, his move set's kind of eh, but maybe with hard skills, his move set's actually really maybe i don't know but as of right now with the mons that we have in our pc box going with the mindset that we have our full actual team currently would be reshiram kofagrigus Conkelder, kyogre porygon z jirachi that is the team that i am gonna have um hopefully to go in to the elite four now the plan is that if for whatever reason we white out in the elite four um we would basically the checkpoint level would be the elite four level so 76 to 78 would be what we would be allowed to rare candy him up to because i honestly think we wouldn't need to rare candy him any higher and also it wouldn't really seem fair to go into the elite four with the level checkpoint that we currently have, which is 68, that's 10 levels lower. And in these games, 10 levels lower is a death sentence. It's not like the earlier gens where you could actually cheese through the Elite Four being like 20 levels lower and still be okay. No, this, these games are a lot harder. Not necessarily Blaze Black 2, Volt White 2, but I'm saying like the newer gens, they don't really let you get away with that anymore. Um. But yeah, that's going to be the plan. I think, I think I'm going to throw out Jirachi on the team for the next video. Um, just because I don't want anything to happen to my poor Porygon. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. Off screen, I am going to uh, make my way back to where we were before we flew out of the Victory Road. So um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. Subscribe for more. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.